Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and StudioWeb.com. I'm going to be pumping that more now. Um, yeah, so in this video, uh, I'm going to answer a question that was uh, well, it's been gets put to me every so often. And sh do you need to learn Dreamweaver and Photoshop to be a web designer or web developer these days? Short answer to the question is no. And there's a couple of reasons. Number one, there are many other uh, pieces of software out there, uh, web design software and photo editing software out there that you can use. At this point in time, a lot of these things are very similar in terms of what they can do and what their functionality is. That said, the need for powerful uh, web design software, point and click stuff like Dreamweaver are far diminished from what it used to be, if you need them at all. These days, the technology behind web design, the HTML, the CSS, CSS3, HTML5, and so on. These things are far, far more mature than they were, you know, eight years ago, 10 years ago, uh, where, you know, definitely in, you know, 1999, 2000, uh, something like a Dreamweaver was extremely valuable to have because it took care of a lot of the shortcomings, if you, uh, if you will, when it came to the web design technologies, like how the browsers worked and, uh, and and how mature HTML and CSS was and so on. And so programs like Dreamweaver did a good job to take care of all the mundane differences and so on. You don't need that anymore because the technology is far more evolved. And the fact of the matter is the majority of web de designers and programmers won't use something like a Dreamweaver. They'll use a simple text editor like Notepad++ on Windows or Text Wrangler on Mac or uh, Sublime Text is another popular one with web developers these days. I'm recording this in uh, mid-April 2014. How about Photoshop? Do you need Photoshop? Now, Photoshop is this hugely, huge, powerful product. And again, the fact of the matter is for the vast majority of the graphics that you're going to need to prepare to prepare for a website, you don't need that kind of powerful software. There are free alternatives to Photoshop, like the GIMP, that will do everything that you need. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other things as well, like Corel has something called Photo Paint, which is not free, but it's, it's very inexpensive, relatively speaking. So do you need to spend the 39 bucks a month or the 20 but nine bucks a month or whatever it is for Adobe's Creative Cloud? If you're just doing web design and web programming, I would argue no. I know Adobe's not going to like to hear that from me. You know, probably won't, never get no sponsorship from them. And I'm not dissing Adobe, Adobe's products, but I'm just saying, is it really essential? No, because when you get experienced in your web design and development, you're going to be messing around in code 99% of the time. And beyond that, the web browsers themselves have a bunch of tools that come with them that help web designers and web developers. These things didn't exist before in the web browsers. Uh, tools like Dreamweaver compensated for that, but now that's no longer the case. So I'll just give you a quick example. So I'm going to pop open Google Chrome here. And uh, so here's one of the uh, sites, one of my sites, cssstutorial.net. It's a shameless plug. It's actually a pretty popular site when it comes to CSS. And you see, I went into, let me just put this in view. So I go into, um, where is it? They go into uh, the little, I don't know what this is, the control bar here. Anyway, you click on this icon and what you want to go into is tools and you want to go into developer tools. Let me just get that into view here so you can fully see it. Here we go. Tools, developer tools, and the, well, I just shut it down. <laughs> so you go into tools, developer tools, and it opens up. And what this does, it gives you a whole bunch of various tools in which you can use to analyze your website. And it's very cool. So you see I'm highlighting the code here. This is the code behind the, uh, the page. And it's giving me information. You see how it's highlighting in the, the browser view up on top like this. And you can drill down and you can go in there and you can actually adjust styles live on the fly. So I could, you know, I'll put in something 100. And they can see how things will look accordingly. So 
you know, and this is just, you know, you can drill down here. There's all kinds of things you can do with this, uh, with the web browser now. So it's extremely powerful. Um, I've given some tutorials on this in the past, so I won't cover it here. But uh, that's that's the answer to the question. Do you need these two? Do you need Dreamweaver? Do you need Photoshop? No. Are they useful? Sure. Uh, but if uh, 39 bucks or 36 bucks or 29 bucks, I forget what the monthly subscription is now, is, it seems a little steep for you. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of alternatives. I just mentioned a few in the earlier part of this video, and I'm sure there's, there, I know there are many out there beyond that. So it's up to you. Take a look. Maybe I'll give a review of different uh, alternative web design tools in the near future. I hope that was useful. Thanks.